free falling off a cliff some 1,000 meters high. The world's best base jumpers calculate their dives down to the last centimeter when they take the leap from the Shirag Cliff in southern Norway. Is it courageous or foolhardy? It's definitely an extreme sport and very risky, but these base jumpers know exactly what they're doing and why. Base jumpers are just uh, normal people uh, wanting to have, uh, have some fun. Everyone wants to fly like a bird, you know. Uh, it's fun to finally be on top of a mountain and actually fulfill the dreams of jumping out and uh, fly safely down. The Shirag is a favorite with base jumpers due to its particular shape. The vertical cliff has no ledges or irregularities that would make the jump any more dangerous than it already is. We can do it here in Shirag because the exit here is uh, very forgiving. It, uh, it's a thousand meters high. It's uh, 12 seconds until the, the mountain gives us a little bit of uh, an edge. So that means that you can jump out and you can do front flips, you can do back flips, because you can just fall vertically with the, with the mountain without being afraid of hitting anything. Base jumpers from the world over have been gathering for four days at the Lysfjord every summer since 1998 for the Hella Boogie Festival. Due to the COVID pandemic, not as many people have come this year, but that doesn't make it any less fun. Some participants even show up in costume. I'm a chicken, so I'm a, I'm a flying, uh, flying chicken. A little bit of collars on my socks, and then I have a pink uh, wig, uh, so it almost looks like I'm a... Uh, a rock star from uh, the 80s. It doesn't really have to make sense. It just has to be colorful and look fun. Taking the helicopter up to the plateau atop the Shirag makes it possible to jump several times in a day. The moment of truth has come. Right now, I don't really think about the outfit. I am very afraid every single time I jump. The day I'm not scared of jumping, it's the day I'm gonna quit, because then I'm gonna start doing mistakes. I'm just focused on being in the presence, having my direction the right way. After I open up the, the parachute, I can suck in more of the environment and the fjords and the nature. It's for sure a feeling of freedom, of uh, being able to do anything, that everything is possible. Now that was my first triple front flip. I was like, I, was, I thought I was gonna do two. But then I was just like, ooh, this is awesome. And then went three and then straight out and everything was perfect. Definitely like this uh, chicken costume uh, definitely brings out the little, uh, the feathers, the flying, yeah, the flying skill upgrades a little bit. And the fun doesn't end with a happy landing. <laughs> In between the adrenaline rushes and tears of joy, the tightly knit base jumping community loves to celebrate. It's magical. It's uh, it's crazy that this little place here can be filled up with 250 people that live their dreams. Taking the leap from Norway's Shirag Cliff is a plunge into a very unique sensation.